Whenever people do this, and I understand why our caller is doing it, mm -hmm. right? You're looking for answers. Just like I'm saying, hey, right. I don't think the guy can pitch here. Every time someone has brought up the pitch clock as a reason why a pitcher struggles, there's a stat I like to look at. And you can tell me this stat means nothing. Go ahead. But I'm going to give it to you. In the final year before the pitch clock, there on Baseball Savant calculated each pitcher's time that they took yeah. before they threw home. Just to get an idea of, like, who's a fast worker or yeah. not. So, for example, I knew going into the pitch clock, boy, Edwin Diaz is not going to be affected. He was one of the fastest working pitchers in all of baseball. And so my assumption was, well, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Yes. So I look up, guys, when people say the pitch clock is affecting them, and I see, well, where did they rank before there was a pitch clock? So I have the answer on Carlos Rodon, and you can tell me what, what, yeah. what it means. He was a middle-of-the-pack pitcher. Yeah, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. No, and I, but there is something to the fact that he can't get the spin rate on his fastballs like he used to. So... I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, you want to say it's sticky stuff. I think it is the sticky stuff. I, I've asked. I, I wrote my friends over at Major League Baseball. Did, was there a directive sent to teams that said we're cracking down or be aware of this for whatever reason? The answer was no. But all of a sudden, the Yankees have no control. And that's, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And so I don't want to make excuses like Carlos Rodon can't pitch in New York or that's not an it's, excuse, or, by or the way. it's too damn hot outside or whatever the heck the, the situation is. That's my is. excuse. I, I want to blame it on something tangible, and I, just, I can't find it. And nobody can, and especially Aaron Boone can't, and that's the biggest problem of all. There is something, though, the Yankees do have control over. So Carlos Rodon was great in his one year in San Francisco. What did he have in San Francisco? A beard. This is not the Navy. Oh, come on. No, no, come on. Yeah, I know, I know he can go with the mustache. It's in the Nazi killing business. Just let these guys grow a beard out. Let them be comfortable. You talk about being in New York. Stop with this nonsense. Why do you, what do you think that's going to do? Like, you know you what? Make him look more like a badass so he's intimidating standing on the mound at, what is he, 6'5", 250, whatever the heck he is. Right, he's just going to look more intimidating. But, Teak, you played. There were guys that were in a rhythm, whether they wore the same socks oh, yeah, or they had course. earrings. Okay, but if you take that away from them, you could take away their so, rhythm, their confidence. There's a reason Lugie why. Lugie is the future of the station. Right. But I think Lugie did, and I understand, because I kind of think the same way with him on this. Um, he kind of misses the beard. Mm. Like, well, what's the problem? He misses his sense of comfort. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, Teak. Mm. He's hiding behind the beard. If, when, he, when he's behind the beard, it's a facade, so he can be somebody oh, else. Oh, stop a it. badass. If you were on a football team, let's say the Giants let you go, mm -hmm. and you signed with the Oakland Raiders, mm -hmm. right? Then At, Oakland Raiders. The then Oakland Raiders. That's right. And the Raiders say to you, and they give you a great contract, you're happy, you're like, I'm so happy to be here. Oakland, the black hole, this is amazing. And they're like, oh, by the way, we have a rule. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to be bald. Not mm -hmm. allowed. You have to grow your hair out. Oh. And you're like, well, I'm not really comfortable with that. I haven't done that since I was 18. And they say, too bad. Mark Davis is like, I'm sorry. Do you see my hair? Mm. You have to have hair, too. Mm. And you're like, listen, I'm a raider. Yeah. It's just hair, kind of like it's just facial hair. I'm going to grow it out. You don't think that would bother you? Um, I'd say, is this contract guaranteed? <laughs> I will George Jefferson the hell out of my head. <laughs> me not having a beard has really messed with me. <laughs> I would look like a fool for guaranteed money. <laughs> That's funny. I do wonder if Carlos Rodon just went up to Hal Steinbrenner yeah. in he? Tampa yeah. and just said, Hal, hey, how's it going? Hal's like, hey, what's up? Mm. And he's like, look, I got to ask you a question. I've been struggling. And Hal's like, yeah, no kidding. And he says, I think it would help if you allowed me mm. to grow my beard back. What would Hal say to him? Would Hal be just like, we don't do that I around think, here? I think he would just flat out say no. <laughs> One word answer. No. No. Hopefully we could figure that out. I'll talk to Cash, but no. since he's in Tampa. <laughs> no. No. Not happening. And what if he just did it? Oh, he'd get fined, wouldn't he? Okay, but who cares? That's true. You know what you need to do? Aaron Judge needs to grow a beard. They're not finding him. No, they're not. Juan Soto they could grow, grow a beard. Boy. They're not finding him, right? I get yelled at. You know who doesn't get yelled at? Tiki. So I'll do something <laughs> with Tiki because I'm not going to get yelled at. <laughs>